Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 13th. These readings are timeless, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is wanting a relationship, create relationship growth of some sort. This is an offer of love in some way. Now this is about permanency. It's about success, financial success. This is about long-term family matters. It's, this may have to do with a family situation. I'm not sure. Um, something we got a big old home here in the back. Long-term stability, happiness. I don't know what it is. It feels like there's, 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 you know what I want to say is like, I don't know if this is an apology or what. This Knight of Cups doesn't have to be an apology, but somebody is extending an offer of love. Okay. And an offer of love can come in many ways. Whatever this offer is, it does have to do with permanency. Okay. Hmm. What is this Ten of Pentacles? This is about prosperity and abundance. There's abundance here. Oh my gosh. So somebody, this is a new offer, it is, and it could definitely be an apology, but it doesn't have to be. This is a new door that is opening, it's a new path, a new enterprise. I mean, the Page of Pentacles is laying a new foundation, it is setting goals. This is somebody that is determined in investing. Somebody may be investing in a home. Maybe it's a new home. Okay. It's interesting because I saw the big old home back here. Remember I said it. In, in, okay, you see the big old home? And this is investing. So it's interesting. Somebody may be investing in a new home. Um... This is putting in a lot of hard work. This is starting a, starting something, okay? This page starts something. This is somebody who takes initiative. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy because there's a lot of uh, hard work ahead by the looks of things. This Knight of Cups is taking action so this person takes action to and this is a dreamer this may have to do with fulfilling dreams maybe dreams of prosperity or having that home or dreams of abundance something is going on here this is manifestation somebody's manifesting something but through their hard work because this is committed this is committed, setting goals and following through. This is somebody that is determined to be successful. Hmm. Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups is about wish dreams, wish fulfillment, wanting to have it all. This 
somebody may be moving, dreaming of, because you think about eight of cups comes before nine of cups, so maybe dreaming about moving towards wish fulfillment. But anyhow, this nine of cups is... Definitely abundant, plenty, having plenty. We have plenty here. Somebody may even be going out for drinks with somebody. Somebody may be offered a drink. Could be even a toast. Nine of Cups next to that Knight of Cups equals the Ten of Cups, which is happily ever after. Which is interesting. So anyway, somebody is moving towards wish fulfillment. They are. They are. They're manifesting happiness. But there, it starts with hard work. Okay, because this isn't easy. Follow through is needed. Oh, the devil, the devil, the devil is some sort of codependency. Somebody is tied to a situation. They are tied there. All is not as it seems. Be careful with overindulgence. Be careful with greed here. Because this is a card of, both of these cards are cards of ego. And, you know, so I think that somebody has to be careful with their ego. Um, all is not as it seems. Somebody could be overdoing it. Just saying over the next day or so. Because this is a codependency and addiction. This is too much. It really is too much. Somebody could be drinking too much or, or doing something too much. So I think that you need to be careful. There could be some regret. Somebody may have some regrets for, for overdoing it, just saying. You know, so it, it's like somebody's pouring drinks you know, they may, there's some sort of, there could even be some peer pressure here to drink or peer pressure to do drugs. And I just want to tell you to be careful when you get the devil cards, things could end in disaster. Now this is a card of force, you know, slavery of some sort and these this is like drinking or alcohol or drugs or something like that somebody may be a slave to something you know that they're overdoing it it could even be food i don't know what it is somebody is tied to a situation and there could be some anger because this card is associated with anger some and this is the rule by the shadow which is hiding somebody may be hiding their pain with some sort of addiction and I think this addiction you know things could get out of control which is interesting now tens are typically completions there could be a change in the family you know somebody could be moving even tens are completions ah unaware the high priestess reversed High Priestess Reverse is a secret that is about to be revealed. It's been hidden, but you can't, and it has been hidden, but it can't be hidden anymore. Could have to do with a Capricorn. We have Capricorn here, we have Capricorn here, but we also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A secret is about to be revealed. And I think that something is going to make somebody angry. There's anger here. The High Priestess reversed is complete unawareness. We may have somebody here that is ignoring their intuition and they may be trying to build a foundation with somebody that is toxic. 
Okay, this person is toxic. They are unhealthy. This is an unhealthy situation. Okay? And this is totally unaware and not or not listening, not listening to intuition. And this is this is putting in effort, investing in a foundation with somebody that they Maybe they have some feelings for this person, you know, or there's, they have fun, you know, if they have fun drinking or partying with this person or something like that, or there's a strong sexual connection, or there's some sort of connection here that pulls these two people together, but it's toxic, it's not healthy. And there is, an, there's like, I don't want to be alone, you know, I don't want to be alone, so it's like they're trying to build stability but there's addictions in the way you know what I'm trying to say which is interesting um, somebody's trying to start over it's like they're trying to start over they're trying to uh, rebuild something and I think it has to do with it going to somebody's home you know going to somebody's home and you know trying to put in effort to build up you know, permanency, there's some sort of uh, drinking or partying or having fun or whatever, but, hmm, well, but, we have the death card, the death card, it doesn't last, it's a short-lived situation, okay, this is a disaster, we have disaster here and disaster here, something could end in disaster, there could be an accident, Okay, there's destruction. Okay, um, there's probably going to be an incident. I think there's going to be an incident, and it has and it starts from drinking or drugs. Um, may or may not survive. It's not going to last. It's not going to last. It feels like we have somebody here that you know wants to rebuild something. They are they are bound to something that is not healthy, be, just because of the gratification it gives them or the uh, attraction. There's some sort of tempt temptation here. There, it, it's just so alluring. Somebody is pulled towards something that isn't good for them, and I feel like they they do it. You know, we can rebuild this. You know, we're gonna start over because this is starting over. We're gonna start from scratch, okay? But there's lack of. Uh, honesty here because somebody's not listening to their intuition it's almost like they know it's not going to work out but they're going to do it anyway okay um, this is not healthy this is uh, there is definitely some feelings here there's feelings there's some sort of um, but I feel like it's not real because the devil is ruled by the shadow all is not as it seems the feelings come from lust okay they come from lust they come from ego they come from uh, desires you know those carnal desires it's more the it's more of a um, addictive behavior you know whatever it is anyhow this is uh, It's almost like trying to revive a relationship that that died. I feel like somebody's trying to revive something that just isn't meant to be. And it ends in disaster. I feel like it ends in disaster. I do. Oh. Ooh. So, yeah. Uh, this is uh, releasing pain. This is, it's time. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. This is heartache. This is, this is painful. Okay. And this, this is uh, extremely painful. And there it is. It is. It's extremely painful. I feel like somebody overdoes it. They overindulge and I don't know, it affects their heart. Two of Pentacles, Love 
lovers reversed. They, there is a contract here. It is a karmic contract that really isn't meant to be. But I feel like we have somebody here that thinks, you know, that they know. They think that they know that this is meant to be, but it's not meant to be. This is somebody don't listen. This person doesn't listen. Um, they need, they're going to be needing to make a choice. They're playing games. They're missing something because they're too busy focusing on something else. They're missing the, the, the reality. Something is coming back around. Okay. Something is coming back around, um, to be dealt with. Okay. I think it has to do with, uh, an addiction of some sort. Somebody that, you know, it's, it is, it's a karmic contract. There's this, this, this lover's reversed is a separation. Okay. There's a conflict. There's a detachment. There's a separation. This is, this is, this is like a broken relationship where somebody decides that they want to give it another shot, but they should have just released the pain and moved on because it's not going to work out. And I don't care if you like me or not. This is based on lust. Okay. This is based on attachment, codependency, not wanting to be alone. Somebody don't want to be alone. So they're going back to something that is unhealthy. And I feel like it's going to explode. I do feel like it's going to explode. I feel like uh, it's going to get uh, crazy. I do. I feel like it's going to get crazy. I feel like uh, things are going to get chaotic. Somebody's biting off more than they can chew. Um, I think that there's going to be an incident where, you know, so it's almost like, and this is just an example. I don't know if this is the case, but somebody gets drunk. Say they get drunk. They, you get, two people get drunk together, you know, and uh, it's all fun and games until uh, somebody gets hurt. collapse of some sort this is this is the ten of wands reversed that is a collapse that is a uh, letting go somebody's going to be letting go of something it, this is freeing yourself making a conscious change to leave the past hurts behind Choosing and choosing to let something go instead of holding. You can't have both. And we have somebody here that has been trying to uh, have it all. Somebody wants to have their cake and eat it too. They want to have it all. But this and this is trying to do too much. This is needing to make a choice between, you know, one or the other. So somebody has an unexpected choice in love with somebody that they dealt with, and I think it's somebody from the past. And I think that, that the thing is, is that whoever they were with in the past, they have more of a uh, connection with, more of a sexual connection, more of a euphoric connection. And that's why they go back. They go back to that person because of the, you know, the draw. The draw is, and the devil has a very strong pull. So somebody is being pulled towards something that is very unhealthy, but is very, if you think about when you're drunk, okay, because this is when you're, if, and most people have been drunk in their lives. This is just, think about it for a minute. When you're drunk, you feel all happy and giddy and ha 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 ha. That's where we're at. You know what I mean? And so this doesn't mean that you have to be drunk, but I'm just saying that's what the feeling is when you're with this person. It's like, oh. You know, that kind of thing. But it's, it's, that's the devil's energy. That is, that really is. So I think that somebody is going to be pulled towards something that really isn't good for them, but it feels so good. And this is about, um, listening. It is about listening to your intuition. It's about listening. Somebody's not, 
and they're refusing to listen to any advice because right now the devil energy is in control. This is a test. It's a test of your uh, stability. It's a test of your integrity. It's a test of your focus. Okay, um, somebody's going to have to make a choice. Do they want to remain focused or do they want to go back down that path? So get prepared for that. Anyhow, um, it's time to leave the past hurts behind. You have to choose. Do you want to go back to something toxic or do you want to start fresh and find something permanent? So that's interesting. Um, but this is making a conscious change to drop weight to drop baggage and leave the past behind before it kills you. So this is like a uh, disaster waiting to happen, just so you know, it really is. Um, this holding on is getting old. We all, Now I'm going to change the story up. This is for somebody else. We have somebody here that is letting go because this is holding on is getting old. This is letting go of heartbreak. Okay, it's letting it go. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. This is I'm ready for uh, something else. I'm ready for a new contract. I'm ready for happiness. I'm ready for wish fulfillment. So somebody is in the process of making a decision. Okay, and they're making a in the, in the in the process of making a decision to let go of a contract where there's a lot of disharmony, where there's a disconnection, where there's arguing. Okay, so somebody has to find their strength. They, to break free from this contract that isn't compatible. Okay, it's just not compatible. And I think it's a difficult decision. I do think it's a difficult decision. So I feel like um, somebody is receiving an offer from somebody that is toxic. They know this person is toxic, but they're refusing to... Listen, okay? They're not gonna not gonna listen to their intuition. And it could be somebody no, you you feel it, but you ignore it because you don't want to be alone. Okay. There is gonna be a separation or there has been a separation. It's not gonna last. It isn't gonna last. This doesn't last. It's not gonna work out. Something isn't going to work out. This is a player. Somebody is dealing with a player. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's nothing much more for me to say other than this is a emotional shutdown. Okay, this is a loss of emotional content. This is uh, not going to work out the way that they'd hope. I think there's going to be some tears that are shed because I think there's going to be, I feel like there's going to be, uh, I don't know what this incident is, but when you get the devil and the death card in a reading so close, if there's an, there's an incident. There's going to be an incident. It could be a near-death situation. It could be a death. I don't know. I mean, it's sad because of the Ace of Cups reverse. There's tears. There's sadness. There's a, a flood of emotion in the wrong direction. Okay, so I feel as though there's a there's, there's a somebody is dealing with some, and a person that plays a lot of games that doesn't have good intentions, and uh, you need to be very careful with. Uh, the whole situation. So you're somebody's going to receive an offer from somebody who probably just I don't know, maybe they just want sex.
We also have somebody that is making a conscious change to release dead weight. They are ready to leave the past hurts behind. They're not happy. They're making a choice to separate from this demon. In search for love in something permanent. Somebody could be apologizing because they were dealing with somebody that was toxic that they couldn't break free from. They have an incident that makes them realize, <laughs> no, you're not it. So that could certainly be the case as well. There is an opportunity for long-term success if somebody can be practical But there's a lack of uh, intuitiveness here, okay? Somebody is just totally unaware. They may be, somebody may be ignoring the messages that they're getting, ignoring their intuition about whoever they're dealing with. I feel like there's going to be an incident, like I said, that... Uh, enlightens them per se there is going to be a separation I feel like it's the end of a, of a loveless situation somebody realizes that this this isn't love you know what I mean? This isn't love. You know, it's almost like this is this is just based on greed or based on codependency or based on sex or based on lust or whatever it is. This isn't love. And I feel like they they decide to separate. So I feel like there's going to be a separation here. Separ I think there's going to be a separation from an unhealthy situation because somebody's looking for something more stable, you know? And I think because they realize that where they're at isn't love or whoever they were hanging on to, you know, they, they extend it off for someplace else. But I think that you need to be careful when this person extends an offer because, you know, they may be on the rebound. You know, they may, you know, they obviously have just ended something with somebody else that uh, they had a hard time letting go of. Good luck. <laughs> 